Hello everyone, this is Chase, and today I, I am here to talk about some essential mods that every PS4 user should be looking at. These are lightweight, like I have, I think 30, almost 33 mods installed, and I've only used 4 megabytes. So, there's that. Well, the first mod I want to talk about is Fix Your Aim and No More Moonwalking by uh oops my bad sorry and wh what this mod does is basically when you use your bow oops sorry and you're trying to hit a farther away target sometimes if they knew you're about to shoot them they'd moonwalk out of the way and it was really annoying and also it fixes your aim in third person so wherever you're aiming is going to hit of course the gravity of the arrow is still affects so you do need to aim a little higher I'll show just a second. Get a scarred. See, he, okay, he's gonna go over there, and I'm gonna switch back into first person. Okay, it works for first person too, but it was made for third. And I'm just gonna wait for him to get to the top of those steps. Okay, I'll show you. Soon as he. Oh, sh he didn't go to the top of the steps. Okay, sorry. We'll get this preacher lady down here. Who sees me? Something sees me. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, what is going on? Okay, anyway, I'm just going to do it. No, see, she's right there. And I should... Well, okay, I'm aiming higher. Sorry, that was my fault. And when I shoot, boom, direct hit. No muss, no fuss. Okay, and now we escape. Yeah, no, nothing happened. I didn't do anything. <laughs> All right. Hello. All right. For mod number two, we got uh, Rich Merchants of Skyrim by Micah Ghost. And what this does is exactly what it sounds like. It just, uh, makes it where all major vendors have 10,000 starting gold and uh, all like shack shops have 5,000 which this is really useful because I'm always in here overcome uh, at my limit and I never have could get it all sold and have to run to like three or four different stores before I got out of here yeah so this is a really good mod in my opinion Mo all these mods that I'm showing are of course extremely lightweight I think this one is maybe two kilobytes, I think. I'll have Until to look at it again. Alright, so let's move on to the next mod. Alright, and the next mod on our list will be... Uh, sorry. Light Ebony Armor. Kill the Night Away by Shadow Dragon 656 And, of course, it will be in the Ebony section. And... Down at the bottom, it requires Ebony ingots, leather... Other strips and wolf pelts, and so we'll go ahead and craft this. And it's what I'm wearing right now, but mine is extremely, extremely upgraded because I've got a couple other mods to help me push the limits on that, and I'll talk about that in another video. But for now, I have crafted a light ebony curt curtless, and then we have the regular ebony armor. Well, the actually the light ebony. Is actually better than the heavy variant and here's what the full set looks like it's got a hood instead of a helmet and it actually looks pretty nice I thought it actually tricked me at first and I actually did think it was an original model I mean that someone built but of course no custom assets so 
that I notice it is actually the ebony armor maybe slightly recolored and shrunk down or I like the way it looks and it doesn't weigh too much let's see it weighs more than half of the it's, well, sorry it weighs less than the ebony armor by about half and it does better protection so people who want to use a light armor build and uh, have good protection light ebony curtain this is the way to go all right now let's move on to the next mod okay the next mod is going to be big by spock rates and it's a uh, series of mods such as easier decapitations taking the restriction off so you can do de decapitations earlier um, more killed moves which I think it added some for werewolf but I'm not sure it could have been in the game and it's never gone before they got two one where you crush their head and another one you pick them up and throw them away and I don't remember those being in the game and then and then there's also more gore so let's get started and I don't know if it'll work with this sword Oh, yep. Yeah. There's one. Yeah. Oh, two in a row. It doesn't activate every single time. There's no customizability with it, like there is the capcation with uh, violins. Violins is, of course, the better mod, but this one works as well. Damn, I'm just killing everybody. You're next. Oh, are you more? Nope. I just need to get a kill move on you. Oh, damn. Bloodbath City. <laughs> I like these kind of mods. I don't recognize you. How come... You guys aren't... Running away. The children ran away, but nobody else did. Oh. And no, it's not a one-hit kill on people, it's just with the mod I have. His head didn't come off. The mod I have, it's a uh, extremely powerful sword. You guys are next. Oh, this is so satisfying. Where are all the guards? What are they doing? <laughs> like, no one is really attacking me. Kill that cow. Oh, your head is supposed to come off, too. I guess if they have a helmet for some reason. No, because those other guys come off. The white one's guards' helmets won't come off. Why are you running? Where are you going? Oh, you're immortal. Are you immortal? No. I had to East March, huh? Oh, there's my daughter. Just watching me kill people. <laughs> Alright. Yep, so there's a big. On to the next mod. Okay, our next mod is Water. Water and Terrain Enhance Redux by Sparrow Prince. And basically what it does is it makes the little waves you would see in like lakes and rivers more subtle is my major takeaway from it and it just looks a lot cleaner and crisper and I'm actually really enjoying this mod. I never looked at what it looks like underwater. It's kind of yeah, but I still enjoy this mod. It is also very lightweight. Uh, which all these mods I will be going naming off for today so just more immersion and make it look a lot nicer for you and that's this mod moving on to the next all right and this next mod uh, next two mods actually uh, make helmets optional by catcher 12 and basically what that does is if I did not like the helmet for the set and I had all the perks and the bonuses that let me uh, if I'm wearing a complete set it increases the armor rating 
Well, if I took the helmet off, I'd still get the bonus. Of course, I'd still I'd get even more if I wore the hood, but it's not optional. And I could wear any type of uh, helmet or hood with it and still get the bonus for that set. So it's actually a really good, really lightweight mod. I believe this one was only 500 bytes, not even kilobytes. So, because I, I don't like wearing my helmet when I'm in conversation, so I, always, I have it favorited so I could just target it. Oh, I thought I did. Yeah, I do. So I can just toggle it off before I talk to somebody. I don't know. That's the way I like to play it. But it is very lightweight, and I really enjoy this mod. And the next mod we got is another great mod because I'm always getting over encumbered because of this and if we go into our miscellaneous here this is weightless dragon bones and scales by JP Moneda sorry if I pronounced that wrong but it does exactly what it says it does it makes these weightless so now you can run around killing dragons picking up the dragon bones and scales and not have to worry about it over encumbering you and I think this mod was around 500 bytes as well so it's a great mod I really am enjoying it it helps me out a lot and that will be it for today's uh, installment of uh, Central Mods for PS4 I'll have another one coming out next week of some more what I think are essential of course this is just my opinion and if you agree go ahead and hit like and comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.